04. The Lakers see, feel, seem like it's time to part ways with Shaq. And you're a part of a blockbuster trade. Yeah, I didn't even think it was going to happen. Did you hear any whispers about it or anything? You had any idea it was coming? No, I could have deaded it, though. What were your thoughts when they brought it to you? I mean, I don't dick ride, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? That is not a form of transportation. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I got the L kicker. If they do trade me, they're going to pay me. Mm -hmm. Then I get go back as a Laker. Mm -hmm. Stop there. But why that's more significant to me, because I was a Clipper for those couple of years. So I know what it is to be a Laker. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so I'm like, I go back, I'll be king. And I get to play with Bean. Mm. That was a no-brainer for me. I took the executive decision. You coming to Joe Cove in LA, Dr. Buss, Jeannie, Mitch, mm -hmm. the Dr. Buss is ill. Word. Rest in peace. In, Word. A good, in a good way? Jeannie pops in an amazing way. Yeah. What was the difference? Like you mentioned, you touched on it, but so you saw at the time the Clippers weren't good. You mean you came into a dorm? I mean, did we used to, did you? I mean, I remember I got there in 03. Were you guys practicing at South by Southwest back then? You'd have to keep the back doors open so no one breaking into the yeah, cars. Yeah, we practiced at um at the Southwest Junior College. Right. And remember we had take to take a shower the, there. No shot, nasty showers. You had to keep the doors open. I would never take a shower yeah, there. Cause motherfuckers are stealing, breaking windows. My dude, this is the NBA. I wish I would have been around a dude like who had practice habits like Kobe. Early on. Went word. I've been thinking about all them times pulling up to Southwest, 10 o'clock practice, coming in at 9.30, like a bump. You know what I mean? There was no examples, though. Nah. Right. Mm -mm. But touch on that. Like, see, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it right away. You got a chance to play with him. I came and played with you guys. Mm -hmm. What it was like just being with him and, and seeing him. Now, yeah, I mean, well, Abe's, his whole shit is different. I be hearing dudes say his name, but like, you ain't really. He was trying to be perfect on the court all the time. Even doing his like, his little shooting routine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Well, even if his, his footwork, even if he's getting shots, he's doing it in a certain way where he's just trying to be, be trying to get better at it. You know, his work ethic in the morning, man. He was like, he was a thug at 10 in the morning. He was going extra hard. He was a <laughs> Straight up. banging on breakfast, man. Straight. <laughs> he said banging on breakfast. Yo, for real. like. <laughs> My man. Constant. Take it easy. Up and at it. There was no such thing, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was all full steam ahead. Phil Jackson mm -mm. comes in 06. What's that experience like? I'm sure you never had nobody like him. Yeah, and I mean, that, that changed. Mm -hmm. um, I think just probably the way I, I looked at the game. You know, really not from the, from the physical aspect. Um, from the mental aspect, the mental approach. Um, I mean, you know, we used to meditate together. Mm -hmm. And so if you know anything about meditation, that's like prayer in a sense. Yeah. So really we like, we all praying together unreligiously. That's deep. You know what I mean? So that's gonna build an extra um, bond. Gives us books to read according to your personality or who you are how he want to affect your life. Mm. That's crazy to mm -hmm. have read enough books to be able to I have something for you right. type shit. That's for deep. real. Don't understand bother. people that much though. Right. Question, how driven was cold? And how did, that, how did that rub off on you? I learned from this dude just by even just from just watching him, man. You know, he said he was better than Mike. I know he did, he thought it. He thought it. You could tell though, he felt that way. I said, what? <laughs> but you gotta understand his drop. It, it ain't too many dudes that play in the NBA that's like, yo. And that really mean it. He in their heart, like, that's growing up right now, like, I'ma be better than LeBron James. Nah. And I, that's what he chased his whole life was to be just as good or mentioned with Michael Jordan. I remember saying, I need to get six. I want to be able to sit at the same table with Mike. His whole, his whole frame of mind, his whole, he had 63 
and Dallas had 61. In the third quarter. 